Hello everybody, it is Dustin aka Bob Dole on Xbox Live here and known as Dole Train on YouTube. And in this video I wanted to just uh, give my thoughts and impressions on the recently released Star Wars Battlefront. Um, how I think the game plays, how I think the game looks, uh, the, the amount of content that is in the game at the moment, uh, balance of the gameplay, how the game flows and all that. So we're going to hop right into this first by saying the game it looks absolutely amazing. Um, just cosmetically and aesthetically when you play this game, you, could, you, just, you just had to take it in for a moment. You just had to appreciate how this game really does look and how it plays. And when you see the different explosions and smoke effects and how the, the surroundings are just... It, you feel like you're engulfed in this you know, Star Wars universe, you're engulfed in this huge battle, especially when you're playing the Walker uh, Assault game mode in particular, you just feel like you're there in some instances, you know. Um, all this gameplay is coming from the Xbox One version of Star Wars Battlefront, since it's the only means I have of recording videos at the moment. But even on this, it looks absolutely amazing. On PC, it looks amazing. On PS4, it looks amazing. Just all around, doesn't matter what you play it on, it looks really great. Now, as far as like balancing goes for game modes, I found that most games, game modes are really mal balanced, like supremacy, cargo, uh, blast, the heroes, villains, and all that. I feel like really, but when it comes to the Walker assault game mode in particular, I feel like it's lacking a little bit of balance, especially when you're playing as the rebels. Uh, on like the map right now, Hoth. I feel like it, there's just there's just something that it makes you feel like you're in an uphill battle from the get-go, which is, you know, that's how it's supposed to feel, but at the same time, it's almost a little too overbearing at times when you're playing as the Rebels. It's like, wow, I can't, we, we can't make any progress, especially when you have a team that just, you know, is all, you know, casual and isn't really trying, and they're playing with their friends, having a good time, you know, which there's nothing wrong with that, nothing wrong at all. But when you're trying to get stuff done and trying to rank up to get, let's say, more credits to buy this, oh, this is a really good-looking blaster. It has, you know, good... Uh, stats on it, you know, and you have a team that keeps losing or you don't do so well, it's like, well, we can't do that. Uh, now, when you're playing on the Imperial side of things, it's almost like a walk in the park. Every time I play on the Imperial side, I've had really good luck with winning because you have all these stacked vehicles on your side, you're the vehicular warfare on your side, I should say, uh, and you know, you have Darth Vader, Boba Fett, all them, which you still have the sleeve of Layla and, uh, or Leia, my bad. Leia and uh, uh, Luke on your side is the Rebels, but it just, it's, even with those two, it just still feels a little bit unbalanced. They, a little bit of tweaking could go on to uh, make this game mode absolutely fantastic. Um, as far as the customization goes for what you can do with your character, such as like the uh, the Star Cards and all that, or the, oh, I don't know, the, the cards. Uh, your character customization about how you look. I think it's just, it's right in the middle. It's right that perfect medium. It's not too over the top, it's not too below the bar. Um, I, li I like the choices you have for how your character can look, and you can have, I like how they add in the different races from different planets. It's just, it's those little details that really make the game, you know, worthwhile and makes you have something to look forward to. Say you want this certain uh, race from a certain planet, you'd be like, oh, well, get here, we get the credits built up, boom, there you go, you got that all wrapped up. Um, now, as far as content goes, I feel like it gets a little bit repetitive at, at the moment, which, you know, all games do that, no matter if it's like a Call of Duty or a Battlefield or anything, you know, your first content, you should have a wide variety, but at the same time, uh, you know, there's going to be more to come, and especially with games from DICE being the ones that made Battlefield, you can expect a lot of content in the near future that is just probably going to be over the top and great. It's going to be worth the wait. But for right now, I feel like with the uh, four maps they have with uh, Solace, Endor, Hoth, and Tatooine, I feel like it's perfect, especially with the nine game modes that they have in the game. I feel like there's plenty of content. So hopefully we can get a Clone Wars DLC. I know everybody's ranting and raving about it. <laughs> Uh, no Clone Wars, but I feel like they're focusing on the original trilogy for the original launch. And I feel like that's amazing. I feel like they've nailed the original trilogy to a T. And I feel like the content in the future in this game is just going to go and progress over the top. 
in the coming months uh, leading up to these DLC releases just like we have the Battle of Jakku released next month and all that good stuff so I hope you enjoyed this video guys please feel free to leave a comment down there about what you like most in the game and what you dislike about the game or what you feel can be improved uh, be sure to subscribe for more videos if you want to keep up to date on my videos and I will talk to you later guys